Um, hello everyone, this is Mahmoud. Um, in this video, I will uh, briefly introduce um, a three new features we added into the statistics reporting system, the SRS. As we mentioned before, this is the phase two. And um, now we will say that we have a complete system to manage all of our process, but it's subject to our taste during the use. And if we came up with, with any more suggestion or uh, questions, uh, we can share them with our Kernel IT application team to uh, look into it. Um, in this video, we'll talk about three new features. Uh, the first one, uh, the workflow, and the other one related to the orders, and the last one uh, concerned with uh, our communication with other departments in QNL. I'm, I'm talking about our department, the cataloging and acquisition team, and any communication with any different department in the library. Uh, the first uh, feature, the workflow, consists of three uh, separate forms, workflow, manage workflow, and workflow report. The second one related to the orders, and it consists, it consists of uh, four separate forms, placed orders, confirmed orders, managed orders, and tracking order reports. And the last feature communicate between kernel departments and uh, how to generate reports related to this form. I'll start with the first one, the workflow. Um, briefly, this uh, function to allow the department manager to assign specific tasks for the team. Um, he, he or she, he can select specific collection. For example, I'm on book fair and he can select the date, for example, today. And here we have an option to add uh, a deadline or when he needs this task to be finished or to be completed. You can select it here, for example, next week, so after, after one week. And here, he or she can add some details about the stats, for example. Shaper review could be cataloging the item this, uh, by Amaja stuff or something like that, or please start cataloging for the specific uh, collection and so on. And here, uh, to whom this task will be assigned? I will select myself, just an example. And once he submits this uh, task, I will, I will get an email from the system automatically to say that this is a new task. And I'll get some information about it. And dear Mahmoud, a new task has been assigned to you. Please visit Manage Workflow to track your task. So this is the second form, the managed workflow. This is this form will be available for all the staff. And here, and as you can see, this is the collection and the date of the task and to be completed on, and some details about it. And the status now assigned. For me, once I'm start to work on this. Uh, task, I will select it and I will say that this task in process. So you will notice that the status has changed it from assigned into uh, in process. Once I'm done with this process or with this task, I will select it and I will say that it's completed. So the status is changed it to completed. For any reasons, if uh, if the manager asked me to suspend the work in this collection and do some other tasks, I would select it and I will say why I suspended this my work in this collection, for example, to work on something as an urgent matter, and I, I will say in this case, suspended. So you will see here automatically the system changes the status into suspended and the justification shown up here in the uh, last column. 
then the admin can use the last form workflow report to see all the tasks and its status and generate any reports for the tasks or for any user. And it can select the dates and also to search for specific collections to know who is working on this collection and so on. This is for the, the workflow. Uh, the second one, it's mainly for the acquisition team to uh, track the orders. And uh, the first, the first form for the placed orders, they can um, fill the list name, the date, language, and which department selecting this uh, uh, books and fund food and some acquisition information. The second form for the confirmed orders. Once once the order is confirmed. We can uh, add the PO number and confirm it number of titles, uh, items, the cost, and if the duplication process is done, so we can add the uh, date and some other information related to the confirmed orders. In manage orders, the same situation. We can generate any reports we need. So we can just select this order to see how, how many placed orders do we have for the past six months, for example. And also the same for the confirmed orders. And here we have an option to select specific dates. Tracking order, it will give uh, all the information about the order in one line, everything in one line. So by initially the acquisition team can track all the orders and get all the information in one platform. Uh, the last one, communicate between KNL departments. Um, once we are done with a specific collection or a specific uh, task or some items, for example, if we've done uh, 500 items in a specific collection and they are fully cataloged and labeled and they are ready for shelving, in this situation, we need to communicate and send to the um, access team to come and check these books, and then they are ready for shelving. So we need to call a CATIA team to come and do the shelving for these books. So uh, instead of sending the separate emails, and in order to have a registry for all our uh, communication with the departments, we can use this form. So for instance, in, 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 in uh, we can select the date, for example, today, and assigned by, I can put my name, and we can give some information about the collection. For example, we can say there are 500 items of our man book fair, catalog, labeled, and ready for shelving, but you please collect them for shelving. So this is some information about the, these books. And we can give the uh, location. In concern the department, we can add uh, one email or different email separate by comma for, for that i will i will leave my email just an, an example and we can put any remarks like call me if you are come back or something similar like that once we submit the recipient will get uh, an email saying that a new collection has been assigned to you and this is the information already added at the day, the, uh, the, the assigned by who, and the description, location, everything. And then in the last, in the last form, we have, uh, we can generate any reports, or as I mentioned before, we'll have a full registry of all our communication with uh, other departments. We can refer to them any at any time if we have any question about where is this collection, what is the status of these items, and so on. And even between acquisition and the cataloging team, we can do the same. Once the acquisition team, they are finished when checking um, a new collection, they can uh, communicate with the cataloging team through the system. Just say, we are done with this collection and they are ready for cataloging. So uh, we will be able, I mean, the cataloging team will be able to know uh, what, what uh, they are expecting for the cataloging. Um, the system will be uh, in the in, in the in the testing process again, and if any uh, suggestion or question came up, 
we'll be happy to share them with uh, our kennel IT to uh, perform or to apply the suggestion. And uh, I think after one or two months, we can just apply uh, like a dashboard. Uh, once you are in the system, you will be able to see some charts and graphs about the, our activities, how many orders we uh, placed, how many uh, books we got, how many uh, items have been cataloged and about the backlog situation and so on. Uh, yeah, this is for, for the new features and I hope you'll find it uh, useful. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.